This is Keith Berkelhammer and this is Reef Bum TV. So you have a beautiful reef tank and you want to share it with friends, family, and fellow reef keepers who might not have a chance to see the tank in person. Taking great pictures does take a different skill set and to do so there are some best practices one can follow to take great photos of an aquarium. Once the basics are learned there is an accessory you can use to take those aquarium photography skills to another level. It's called a top down viewer or photo box. A top-down viewer is an accessory attached to a camera that makes it possible to safely submerge a lens underwater to take stunning photos or videos. Yes, there are waterproof housings available for cameras used primarily by scuba divers, but they can be expensive and are overkill for an aquarium. Top-down viewers are much less expensive and are made specifically for aquariums, including a porthole viewer manufactured by Avast Marine. Avast Marine's original porthole called the Shorty, was designed to fit most standard DSLR lenses, although they now have mounts to fit smartphones and point-and-shoot cameras. Okay, what about long macro lenses? Well, they have a porthole for that as well. As is the case with the original porthole, the extra long porthole has three thumb screws that are used to mount the housing to the barrel of a lens. Slide the camera inside the porthole, tighten the screws, dip it in the water, and you are good to go. One thing I would like to see at the end of the thumb screws is some sort of padding to prevent the screws from scratching the lens barrel. I have not noticed anything yet on my lens, but it would give me more peace of mind if there was something there to protect it. There are rubberized pads at the end of the porthole that make it possible to set the camera down while it is still in the housing, a feature I like since it protects the end of the housing. Overall, I am really pleased with both the pictures and videos I have taken with this top-down housing. It is simple to use and I have no worries about water getting inside the housing. I would recommend turning off all recirculating pumps to keep any water from splashing onto the camera. And make sure you have a good grip on the camera, you don't want it to fall into the tank. Many thanks for watching and please don't forget to click on the Reef Bum logo in the top left corner to subscribe to my channel.